last example. Let's take a look at this. The last one. The last example of the today. Today. Okay. Uh, suppose we have this differential equation. Y prime equals 3x plus 2y plus 1. Uh, that's that. And suppose it has a solution of the form y equals mx plus b. So it's a linear solution. Uh, what is m and then what is b? So we gotta do some little little things here. Little gotta do little things here. First, I'm gonna start with this because I have y prime, and I I start with this. I'm gonna get y prime. Once I do that, well, I mean, you hopefully you can see this. If I take the derivative of this, I'm just left with m because m is just a number. So I take the derivative. Y prime is m. Hmm, interesting. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this. Now, you could just like go a bunch of different ways about this, and then sometimes some things don't help, some things do help. Uh, when I first was looking at these problems, I just figured out a bunch of things and then decided that this is the easiest way to do it. Uh, so, first, you like the first step is to start with the y equals mx plus b, take the derivative, so now you have y prime, that's just m. Well, we knew that. Uh, then, also, also, Take this and solve for y. I, I mean, you can substitute in y prime as well. Let's change this to an m. Solve for y, though. That's that's the idea. Uh, solve for y. Because we're going to actually get it into this form again. Uh, but you'll, you'll see what happens. So take this and solve for y. So we get this part. Uh, I use that and solve for y. So I just... Uh, I I took... The 3x, and I subtracted it over, that's why it's minus 3x, and then subtracted this over, and then divided everything by 2. And I'm going to simplify it a little bit, um, and I'm going to replace y prime with m. I'm going to replace it with m. So I substitute y prime for m, and then simplify. So I just take this, y prime, change to m, and then I split up the denominator, m over 2, uh, negative 3x over 2, and negative 1 over 2. And then I grouped this and this together. Watch. This is crazy. So I get something like this. I moved this out in front. Whoops, you can't see that. I moved this out in front so that we have it. And then I did the m minus 1 all over 2. Look, this is y equals mx plus b form. y equals m. Oh, negative 3 over 2. We found m. x plus B, remember M is just some number, and in fact it's actually negative 3 over 2, so we can actually find B as well. It's, this is slope-intercept form. So, uh, we can just see, M is negative 3 over 2. Bam, easy. B is M minus 1 divided by 2. So what I'm going to do next is I'll take B and I'll substitute M, because I already know what M is. I had to make it smaller, but there we go, look. So B is this. But I know what M is already, huh? There we go. So I substitute, change the 1 into 2 over 2. Subtract that. That's uh, negative 5, right? Negative 3 minus 2 is so negative 5 over 2. And this is, I flip this over and multiply because it is just divided by 1. I flip it over and multiply. That gives me a 1 half. 2 times 2 is 4. So then that's how we get that part. And then we're done. That's it. Because that's what it was asking for, right? Find what is M and B. And M and B are right there. So that's it for this one. Easy as well. Good day, sir. I said good day!